Good morning, guys. I love how, like, all of YouTube is on fire right now, and I'm over here just in my little corner, like, I'm gonna be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial for the 67th time. So this is probably, I think, my fourth or fifth time doing this video. It's been my goal since the beginning of the series to just make a piece at the end that is just unclockable. Like, you can't find one thing wrong. Trees look good, colors look good, everything looks perfect. And throughout the series, I've noticed my skills have greatly improved, but they're still just not there yet, so... I'm just gonna keep following Bob Ross painting tutorials until I finally make one that just is good. So the episode that I'm going to be following today is titled Evening Glow. It is season 30 episode 12. I'll leave a link down below if you want to actually like watch it or whatever. By the way, I'm using Procreate for this because I don't like oil paint, so there's that. Let's get into this. Okay, so what he starts by doing is putting kind of just like this yellow blob in the middle and then fading it out. So next, it seems like he takes a slightly darker color, goes around the edge of that yellow blob in the middle of the sky. So then what we do is we take an even darker color, go around that. I think we're just making a radial gradient right now, like it's, it's not that deep, this isn't that hard. Okay, so now we just take an even darker color and go around the very edges of that and then blend everything together to really make it like seamless. And then we take a little bit of white and go over the yellow part and just, this is fine. Like this part, simple, easy, no problem. It's just taking like a lot of blending and a lot more then actually like, you know, I've already been filming for about 20 minutes and I'm literally two minutes into the video. So like, this is really exciting. So next we go in and we add two little hills and basically what I'm doing for that is I'm just doing like an outline with the oil brush and then I'm blending it only downward and I'm just gonna kind of work that to where the top is a solid color and it blends into the sky because that's kind of what his looks like. This is what his looks like right now, and this is what mine looks like right now. Not that bad. Okay, so now after doing a lot of blending and getting those two hills right, there's like a little tree patch I guess he's doing in the background. Here's the deal, Procreate, can you get some better brushes? He like uses his two inch brush, but it's only like vertical and he'll just like stamp it. Well, there's not a brush that does that, so I have to actually go in and like hand draw each of the little things and then blend them. So I think this is gonna take a while. All right, so next we're just gonna kind of add this like yellow cream color and like just do some mist kind of in front of everything and then also bring the brown color from the sky as well as kind of some more mist to the foreground. Not that deep. This is usually the part where like everything goes downhill. So it's looking pretty good right now. Like I'm pretty hopeful for this. Um, so what we're gonna do now, he uses like his little blade and cuts across some white. I don't have that. So I'm gonna use just like a pencil tool with some white and go across um, and then just blend it out to make it look a little bit more like oil paint. So next we go in with a kind of darker color and we make a hill in the foreground. This isn't too complex of a hill, it's just kind of like single, so that's really good. 
Um, so I'm basically just gonna do it the same way that I did the hills in the background, just with a darker color. And from there we take like a green yellow color that we make and just kind of add some like highlights and stuff like that just for the grass, no big deal, it's all fine. good like we're this far into the painting it's still looking good like I'm confident but the confidence is about to be lost because we're adding trees and here's the deal um, the trees are rough making him procreate because they don't really have a brush that like matches the technique that he uses so this is gonna be a challenge Um, after a very long time of erasing and blending, erasing and blending and drawing, I finally have gotten the trees to where they're at least somewhat good. We're just adding some highlights now to the trees, but I want to move past this. I want to like get to the more fun stuff. I also think we should be wrapping this up soon because the video is almost over. Now we're adding a house, which I don't think is that hard. It's definitely not the hardest thing. From there, we're also doing a little bit of like highlighting and stuff like that to make it look like more woody. Now I think the last step that we're gonna do is take more of that green color and kind of just like put it down and drag it down more to make it just like a full hill, you know, just like. Oh, just kidding. We're putting in a tree. Um, okay, cool. This isn't like a tree tree. It's like a bear tree because I think this is like winter time. So I'm just going to quickly do in the outline of this tree. So looking at his versus looking at mine, I think that there are some things in the background that I didn't do like perfectly correct. I actually added in a little bit of a darker color by those hills to distinguish them a little bit better from the sky. And then also um, I went in to actually the layer in which I had like the first tree patch that we put in and I just made it darker and kind of blended it out a little bit better. And so here is my painting. This looks good. <laughs> yes. No, I'm actually really impressed with this. The one thing, the one thing that I'm gonna clock on this, I think everything else turned out great. It's digital, so it's not gonna be quite like oil paint like that. Um, the one thing I am gonna clock on this, however, is the trees. I'm just not the biggest fan of them, but I think it just has to do with like the brushes. And if I do this again, I think in Procreate you can make your own brushes, so I'm probably gonna have to like go in there if I do this again and actually make my own brushes. You gotta give me some credit. We're improving. Like look at my very first one I ever did of these and then look at this. Like we're improving. Like that's it for my fifth time following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down there and leave a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this because I for sure will make another one. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I do really hope that you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you being here. And all right, I'm gonna go now, bye!